Okay, this is going to be a real life comparison and review of a single K cup coffee maker. Um, a Mr. Coffee K cup, which actually says Keurig on it. And then a Farberware, which I actually purchased at Walmart. Um, you can see size wise, the Mr. Coffee is a little bit shorter a little bit trimmer depth is a little bit less depth than the Farberware um, can you just measure them and I'll so I can tell these people because they're gonna be asking what is the measurement can you get the tape measure please um, we're in an RV temporarily while our house is being built so I'll tell you all about it but the height of this one is right at 14 and a half 14 and a half. The this one's 13 and a half. 13 wow. and a half. And the depth is just approximately. About eight. Eight? Mm -hmm. Just do it to here. It's about 11. Okay. Eight and 11. Mm -hmm. This one looks shorter. Well, because Miles of wide. this. Well, I mean, did you do it just from there? Mm -mm. I did it just with that. Okay, well, we're counting that little stupid thing that pulls out. Um, and then the, um, this one we've been using for several months. Um, and I will say right now, it does not work anymore. It's leaking behind here. Um, the water you just pour in here, and it's got little steps right there that tell you um, how many ounces so you, the water when it covers that thing tells you how many ounces the Farberware is much nicer the water container comes off and it actually tells you on there how many ounces it's easier to see and it holds more that well maybe not more but yeah a little bit more yeah. two like two more ounces um, so let me tell you some of the main problems with the Mr. Coffee now granted, we just got this one, but I can tell you right now, design-wise, cost-wise, um, size-wise, this one's got to be, look but look-wise and everything, you, you don't want this one, okay? I'll just tell you, this one broke, and it was about 50 bucks with shipping and everything. I had to buy it from Mr. Coffee. Um, they've obviously had some issues with it, but the way you get the K-Cup in... And this wasn't like this when we first got it. And over time, it got worse and worse. You have to pull this out. And then in the inside is where you put the K-cup. The problem with that is, in there, you'll see... I'll get the flashlight again. There's a little thing sticking out with a rubber washer. And it's become so hard to pull in and out. Um, and I, I'm pretty strong. I have a pretty strong grip. But it's even hard for me... My wife has some carpal tunnel issues, and it's almost impossible for her. Now, once you do the first cup and it's hot, um, it, it, because of the liquid, I guess, it comes out easier. But, again, something's happened in there, and now the water is leaking all down here and making a mess. Um, so the only thing you have with that, you put your coffee in here, and you push the own off, and um, it's got a very short um, cape plug, too. It's um, maybe three feet and um, it the coffee was good coming out of it the problem is, is it's not it's very cheaply designed but I think because they got the rights to put the actual Keurig name is why it's so expensive and also because it's got the Mr. Coffee thing on it but this, this thing did not last long for the money we pay the Farberware was uh, around 35 bucks plus tax and I want you to see first of all instead of having to pull something out it pulls up and then you drop the container in there and, and this is easy to come out to clean um, much much better design um, it also comes with this for your tea or ground coffee so you can put ground coffee this is the one that came with the mr. coffee look at that little dinky thing look at the difference in these two I mean really I mean talk about cheap so, you know, you can put a lot of coffee in that, make a nice strong batch of coffee or a couple of cups um, compared to the Mr. Coffee. 
and um, then in addition to this one you just put as much water as you want to make if you want it stronger you don't put as much water this one you fill in the, the container which this does slide up and out like a regular Keurig but you can choose between 6, 8, 10, 12 and 14 ounces it's got the size right here which you pick you pick either ground or capsule and I don't know what I did well, that's going probably because I got that up yeah there you go so you pick capsule and then you can pick which size you can see it lighten up so you don't have to guess with this also something else they did this is really stupid if you put it too high you see this these little this little thing right here in the back that's open this thing is open to the inside you see the light coming through there? See the light coming through? So if you happen to put it a little bit over that top shelf, it leaks out the back. Which is, I never, I don't understand that. What, why they did that was crazy. It looks like there's one on the other side, but there's a piece in it. Now I don't know if there's something missing that's supposed to clog it or what, but that's a terrible design. Um, there's nothing like that on the Farberware. And then for the bottom part, the Farberware, this is fine, you know, for a small cup, you put that. And then for a long, big cup, like, you know, this is our coffee mug, you take that away. It's crap. So, uh, anyways, it doesn't have the top. That's why it fell when you make the coffee. But this one, it already is nice and tall. And you just pull this out nice and easy if you want to have a, a high coffee mug or if you want to make a small one it's got a little thing here and you can adjust it to where it's not you know doesn't splash so much this one always splashed a lot I can tell you already this one doesn't splash as much it comes out much nicer so um, again this was about 49 then you got to pay shipping sometimes you can get 10% off um, we got 10% off. It still cost over 50 bucks with shipping. And when I called them, they were very unhelpful, very nasty. They didn't want to hear anything about nothing. And they offered to sell me another one at 10% off. It's like, okay, why would I buy another one? This one broke and sucks. I'd rather go to Walmart. And then I found this for $34.95. Less money than this, really. I mean, over $15 less. And look how much better it's made and the features, how many, how many much better features it's got. And you can just feel how much better it's made. It's just made like a regular Keurig. But notice, there's no Keurig symbol on it. So they don't have to pay a royalty fee. They just advertise it on the box as K-Cup. Um, kind of smart. But you see the seals look nice. There are nice seals on there to prevent leakage and everything. This one, no. Nah. They're just hard plastic. So, just right there, um, you can just tell it's a much better made machine. So my recommendation is stay with the single um, compact Farberware. Now, Keurig makes a compact one, but and it's a little shorter than Farberware, but it's wider and deeper. And we have a little place that we like to slide it back when we're finished. And my wife measured this, and it's exactly 15 inches. This was 14 and a half. So that's where we put it. Of course, this one is going in the garbage. But see, it goes in our little stove, which we have a top for an RV. And this is perfect for an RV or if you have a little bar um, or like a breakfast um, area in your house and you just want a single serve one. You're not a big coffee drinker, but you want it for guests. The Farberware uh, single K-cup is definitely... Um, a good coffee machine and I'll do updates or, or post on here if for some reason it doesn't last um, but uh, hopefully we won't have that issue and I haven't bought it from Walmart hopefully if there's a problem they'll take it back um, Mr. Coffee does not stand behind their things so thumbs down for Mr. Coffee single brew Keurig thumbs up for the Farberware um, I'm much better 
seems like it's going to be a much better product. I made a cup, you know, we broke, we put some water through to break it in, and the coffee tasted very good through it as well, better than this one also. So there you go. If you have any questions, post them below. Subscribe to our channel, please. We have a variation of things, everything from from firearms to trailer to reviews on cat food and all kinds of things. All right, 73s.